There are many ingredients that go into improving yourself for whatever activity you are working on. Consistent practice, patience for details, exploring your boundaries, an open mind for feedback are just a few. In my experience, the oil that keeps all that machinery working smoothly is simple. Enthusiasm. Being able to look forward to and enjoy the hard and sometimes boring work that is required to master something just has to be there. In the skater the coach has selected as the most improved female in first hour, it's her enthusiasm that shines through and shone right through everyone else on the ice around her. With a huge smile and a warm heart, she dove into getting better and dragged a whole gang of skaters along with her. As coaches and parents, we recognize and we give a big high five to the girl who enthusiastically showed up night after night and has the results to show for. Congratulations to Alice as the most improved female in first hour. Keep shining, Alice, in everything you do. Hi, Pacers. It's really great to, to uh, get together, even though it's just in a virtual environment this time. Fingers crossed it won't be too much longer till we're able, we're able to get together in person and on the ice. It's my pleasure to be able to announce the recipient of this year's most improved male skater in first hour. The skater we're talking about is somebody that the coaches always really enjoy working with on the ice. He displays a super positive attitude. He's thoughtful. He thinks about what he's doing. He tries hard to improve, and it's obvious that that's going into real improvements in his skating technique and his times. Uh, from what we're seeing, he's uh, really working hard at nice, even balance with both feet. He's getting good, solid pressure from both the outside and the inside foot, and that's expressed itself, for instance, as an improvement in his 400-meter time from about 1 minute 7 seconds at the start of the year to the last meet, which I think was in Brockville, where you managed to break the magical one minute barrier, got down to 58 seconds, so super good achievement. And in that same meet, in a super competitive echo group, you managed to finish fourth as well. So uh, congratulations. The skater we wish to recognize this year is Griffin Handvelt. And Griffin, congratulations. Super great seeing you on the ice. It's always great seeing the smile on your face, and I really hope you're enjoying your skating and your summer. There are so many ways to measure improvement and success in speed skating. There's the usual faster times, better technique, and podium finishes. These ones are easy to see and measure. The ones that are harder to see and measure, but are maybe more important in determining ultimate levels of achievement, are things like attitude, dedication, and being an active participant in the job of getting better. The skater the coaches agreed deserved the award of most improved female in second hour has all of these things. The ones that are easy to see and the ones that are less easy to see. Because of her positive attitude, gritty dedication, and active engagement in all aspects of our club, she got her faster times, her better technique, and the respect of everyone around her. Congratulations to Greta as the most improved female in second hour. You're always a gold medal finisher in my books. Hi Pacers, I'm super happy to been asked to uh, uh, speak to the coach's choice for this year's uh, second hour most improved male skater. Uh, the skater that we wish to recognize is someone who's always a pleasure to see around the club, super happy, positive attitude, does all kinds of volunteer work on behalf of the club and for ASA at various other meets. And I would uh, noticed through the course of the year that he was really working hard and uh, really paying attention to some of the details that really go into making a skater fast at the higher levels of the sport. So lots of attention to technique and working hard in a really well applied way. And it was evident in his, in his times as well. It was a bit difficult to compare one on one his times because he moved up from a from an age group where he was skating 400s to 500s. But my reckon, I reckon he's probably shaved off somewhere in the neighborhood of about nine seconds in, in an equivalent 500 meter time. He was sub 50 in uh, his old 400 meter PB is down to 55 seconds, so getting pretty darn quick in the 500 now as well. There is a direct comparison in his 1,000 meter time. He was a full 14 seconds faster in his 1,000 as well, so that's that's pretty comparable as well. At that same meet where he set his PBs in Brockville, he managed to finish seventh in the highest group, the Alpha group as well. Uh, so it's pretty competitive up in, in uh, those echelons and those groups. So congratulations on that result as well. 
as I've said, super pleasure to see this skater around the club all through the season. Congratulations to this year's most improved second hour skater, Gabriel Leconte. I'm very excited to present the award of most improved female for the third hour to a skater that has made some incredible improvements, I think in every aspect of skating. And that's just since I first started working with them last spring. Um, they're extremely hardworking. They ask lots of questions, always have a smile on their face, always down to do extra laps, even if sometimes their teammates don't appreciate that. Um, and they've all around just a pleasure to work with. So I am honored to present this award for this season to Allison. You've been great to work with, You've done a really great job this season. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Rob Freitag and I'm very honored to award this year's most improved male skater in third hour. Of course, there were many skaters who were very good seasons, so it was always very difficult to pick. However, this particular skater stood out for his perseverance, commitment, and increased confidence throughout the season, from start to finish. This skater did very well in the regional circuit the previous year, the circuit now known as the provincial circuit. So this past season, he was invited to skate at the elite circuit. He took full advantage of the opportunity, skating not only in the preseason meet, all four circuit meets and the championships. In terms of pure performance, this skater made some wonderful improvements in the ranking distances, taking over three seconds off his 500 meter time and 19 seconds off his 1500 meter time. But more important than his performance improvements, this skater was always very committed. In addition to skating, he always also was very active in school and extracurricular activities at school. He always worked very hard in practice and almost always was the first skater to be ready to get on the ice. The coaches, you know, are very appreciative when the skaters are ready to go. During practice, he would often take leadership role in helping to ensure the drills were well understood and that the practices were running smoothly. Very notably, we noticed that his confidence increased throughout the season. His technique became more fluid, his speed increased, and he approached every drill with a smile. He always listened to feedback and put into practice with enthusiasm. It has been a pleasure to work with this skater. So please join me in congratulating this year's most improved male skater in third hour, Peter Rogers. Hello everyone. It gives me great pleasure to present the award this year for Commitment to Log Track. It's too bad that we're unable to be together all in the same room to celebrate all of our athletes and all of the wonderful things that they've achieved this past year and past years. I'd like to talk a little bit about what commitment means and I'd also like to tell you some of the observations or uh, provide you with some of the observations that I've recorded about our particular recipient for this award. Commitment is a behavioral trait, exemplifying the desire and resolve to persist and continue to devote oneself to a pursuit over time. Sport commitment is fluid and varies over time, through seasons and over the course of an athlete's involvement in their sport, which is predicated on the athlete's level of enjoyment, personal investment, goal setting, courage, and social support. The recipient of this award has demonstrated all of the above qualities and more. They have set objectives, have thought through and articulated a detailed plan to achieve their goals, have demonstrated growth in focusing on processes more than the results, devoted effort to overcoming technical and tactical weaknesses, maintained focus, and continue to work hard outdoors in the cold for hours despite fatigue, repetition, and the monotony required to improve long track skills. The recipient has also implemented a routine they have personalized to facilitate consistent and total preparation for practice and competition. They are also a student of the sport. And what I mean by this is that the athlete devotes energy and effort to understand the nuances of training and competition. They have also identified long track role models along with the reasons they wish to emulate these athletes. Furthermore, they are capable of critiquing and conducting a gap analysis of their performance. They have made great strides in developing resilience in the face of adversity and 
and have remained positive and motivated in their endeavors to improve. Additionally, this athlete engages passionately in conversation related to advancing their athletic goals, has actively sought guidance to achieve their objectives. I've known this athlete for many years, and what distinguishes this particular athlete is their work ethic and the devotion they have demonstrated to advancing their technical skills. This athlete has world-class aspirations and the right stuff to achieve these dreams. Dedication physically, mentally, and emotionally to improve and achieve a high level of technical mastery in long track has required a recipient to balance competing demands on their time through schoolwork, family obligations, social opportunities, and training, which is not easy. The perseverance, persistence, courage, and sacrifice to achieve their athletic goals and reach the next level of competition in the face of these challenges is worthy of acknowledgement and celebration. This athlete has had the social and emotional support of a loving family and community of clubmates and coaches who have encouraged and provided this athlete with guidance and advice which fostered their enjoyment of the sport and confidence in their abilities, which underpins the intrinsic motivation observed in this athlete. It gives me great pleasure to present the award for commitment to long track to Rachel Mallard. Your dedication and commitment to achieve your goals and carry out the daily demands of training in long track are noteworthy and we wish you continued success in your training and journey in long track. Congratulations, Rachel. Hi, Pacers. The Christina Groves Award is the award that the club awards each year to a skater who's shown an exceptional amount of perseverance and dedication to the sport, resulting in notable achievements uh, over the course of the year. For, the, for those of you who don't remember Christina Groves or maybe too new to the sport, Christina Groves skated with Pacers a couple decades ago, maybe even a bit longer, went on to join the national team in long track and had an exceptional career with multiple Olympic and World Championship medals and World Cup medals. Uh, someone uh, that we all kind of looked up, we all look, definitely looked up to as a, as a skater in, uh, in long track throughout the country. And uh, it, it's great to, be, uh, to receive an award named after Christina Groves. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and name the skater that we're uh, awarding this to this year because it's going to be obvious who the skater is as soon as I start to tell the backstory here. Uh, congratulations to this year's recipient, Denis Bertelot. So Denis uh, started off looking pretty good in short track, uh, skated some good PBs uh, right off the bat uh, in skating in the elite series in short track and uh, was all set to have a really fantastic season. But we got, unfortunately, to the Kingston Waterloo meet, and in maybe the second event on the first day, he had an awkward fall, uh, went into the boards at the end of the ice. I don't think it was actually the boards that were, were, were the problem. I think he had a bit of a twisting injury and unfortunately broke both bones in one of his legs, both the tibia and the fibula. And uh, so that was devastating when we heard the, that, that news and the prognosis that he was going to be in plaster for eight weeks and then a lengthy recovery after that. That was October 26th, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, while we saw a little bit of him on, on crutches through the rest of the season, we were all super amazed when we got back after Christmas and there was Denise saying, well, I'm going to give it a try in a third hour practice. Uh, so out he went and I can remember saying to him, you know, just take it easy. Don't, uh, if it is too painful, get off the ice. We're going to build it up slowly. And then I can remember being equally amazed, turning around a couple hours, you know, an hour and a half later and saying, well, what are you still doing here, Denise? Well, it's going all right. I'm just working through it. Uh, what was even more uh, impressive was uh, about two or three weeks after that, we were at the Ontario Long Track Championships here in Ottawa. Then he entered and uh, managed to uh, perform exceptionally well, finishing third in his age group and uh, winning two medals through that as well, one of them being a gold in the Mass Start 500 meters. That was a fantastic achievement, but one of the things that goes along with finishing that highly in, uh, in the Ontario Championships is it means you qualify for the uh, Canadian Youth Age Class Long Track Championships as well, which were Red Deer this year. Uh, Mike Rive and myself were the two Ontario coaches, and uh, so we had a, a number of, of pacers out there, uh, and we were super happy that Denis was among them. And he performed really well out there as well. It was a fantastic uh, three days that we spent in Red Deer, a really beautiful facility. 
Um, and uh, it was you know, just a great experience to compete against uh, some of the best young long track skaters in the country and also to have a really great Team Ontario experience as well. Denise skated really well out there. He was the, uh, at Red Deer, he was the top Ontario skater in his, in his age group. And amongst the, uh, all of those elite long track skaters in his age group in Canada, he had a couple fifth place finishes as well in the seven lap race and also the 1500 meter race. So those are exceptional achievements, but I have to still pinch myself to think that his return to the ice was, uh, that the Ontario Championships was only a few weeks after his return to the ice and, you know, less than four or five months, no, four months after he broke his leg, he was out there in Red Deer competing for Ontario in a national level meet. So that really shows an amazing recovery and amazing perseverance to get over that, that injury. Um, really happy for you, Denis. Congratulations once again, and you're a worthy recipient of the Christina Groves Award. Rookies are an interesting thing. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they really only share one thing in common. They are new to the sport. In our club last year, we had rookies as young as age five and as old as, uh, well, I don't want to embarrass anyone, so let's just say we also had older rookies in the master's program. Some folks who are new to the sport take to it like a duck to water. They are naturals. For others, it takes work. Lots of work. It's this second type of rookie, the one who works at it, that is the most interesting and the most rewarding. The skater the coaches have chosen as Rookie of the Year worked at it every single night. Nothing stopped her. Boots that didn't quite fit? Uh, she dealt with it. Ankles that were in agony after one lap? She lived with that. A skating group that was more experienced than her. Eh, she figured out how to fit in there also. This rookie didn't complain about her challenges. She just found them and solved them. Congratulations to Parnian as the Rookie of the Year. I can't imagine what in this world could possibly stop you. Hi everybody, it's Grant Edgar. I'm one of the coaches in the Masters program at the Pacers. I uh, wanted to take a couple of minutes here to recognize some achievements in the past year, 2019-2020 season. Uh, one of the awards we're going to cover off is presented typically at the uh, banquet, and then we have a few other awards that we give out as well. Uh, we do these awards um, at the end of the season like everybody else does in the club, and we do offer these awards and present them as part of our end-of-year party that we have for the Masters. This year we didn't do that um, in person, we did that virtually. Um, it was actually pretty interesting and I'd say a success. Um, we all got on the phone, it was about 25 of us, and uh, spent about three hours together, so that was pretty fun. So what we'd like to do is just uh, show off a little bit of uh, the accomplishments of the, the team this year. So to start with, we have the most improved uh, in the Masters program. This is awarded to a skater who's shown a considerable improvement, the biggest improvement uh, in skating ability, not just speed, but also technique, safety, uh, and so forth over the course of the season. And previously, we've given this award to uh, Mary Beth in 2017, and Hetty in uh, 2018, and most recently in uh, the end of 2019 uh, to Bob. And uh, this year's recipient, we're proud to give it to Claire O'Grady. And Claire is kind of a interesting character. She joined the club for the first time um, last year, so she's actually a rookie. Um, she came in, in with the uh, the trial program in October. Uh, to give it a try and her and a couple of friends and uh, was really uh, impressive in terms of um, both of her progression through the season um, but also just uh, her approach to it so she just never said quit she just went for it the whole time um, I kept uh, joking with her that uh, she had kind of fire in the belly and uh, to give you an example of that at Christmas uh, after the skating indoors had been completed and she was back at home with some friends uh, and family. She was uh, showing some of her speed skating technique to her, uh, I think it was her nieces, out on a pond. Um, so really kind of continuing the message of speed skating uh, even after the trial program. She came back after Christmas and joined the club on a full-time basis and uh, really you know, progressed throughout the season. So really want to commend uh, Claire on her efforts there. Uh, we also had a lot of fun. Uh, that's a key part of the master's program and um, a part of that was working on her arm swing technique. So I won't get into that here, uh, but if you have any uh, 
any interest in following up with Claire at some point, she'll have some funny stories to tell you. Um, so anyway, we'd like to just uh, recognize Claire for a great achievement on that. Um, some of the other awards that we have include something called the Bruised, Bruised Butt Award. This is a, uh, a badge we hope the recipient wears with honor and pride. Uh, the intention is to recognize somebody for uh, maybe a fall or some kind of accident that they had um, and ultimately their perseverance to get past that and continue on with the sport. And uh, in the past, we've given this to um, to Rustam in 2017, Eric in 2018, and uh, Hillary in 2019. And just to give you an example of what we mean by the the incidents that come about, uh, Rustam in 2017 had a rather nasty accident. He was, uh, we were doing um, laps uh, where every every so often we'd, we'd uh, encourage the skaters to go extra fast um, and sort of a sprint lap and a wind sprint kind of concept. concept. And uh, in one of the laps, uh, Rustam took off and uh, ended up falling, which was unfortunate, and uh, disloc dislocated and broke his ankle uh, in the process. And so we sent him off to the hospital uh, after some time on the ice and in the uh, in the hallway, getting ready for EM EMS to arrive. Um, we were helped a lot by Mary Beth Ryan, who happened to be with us, and she's actually a nurse, so helped me out quite a bit there. And we got uh, him off to the hospital safely. Um, and long and short of it is he joined the club uh, continuing the following year. He continues to be with us and, and skates and is a great guy. Um, so <laughs> it's really not just the fact that somebody fell and that was a bit funny maybe. Uh, in some cases, it's quite painful, but the fact that they come back from that and continue. And so this year, we're giving it to uh, Frederick. Um, and uh, I can't remember the exact details of the situation. I did back in uh, May when we presented this, um, but uh, Frederick had uh, one or more falls that contributed to that. So anyhow, um, the intention of the ward is similar to the rusty blade where somebody attaches some fun memorabilia to it that somehow represents their, uh, their incident. So we'll look forward to the next uh, additions from Frederick on that one. The Edgar, uh, this is actually named after me, but <laughs> that was kind of, there's a little bit of a story behind it. This is kind of the master's equivalent of the Rusty Blade. Uh, the Rusty Blade, as everybody's aware, is um, is an award uh, in terms of the trophy itself, is something that uh, gets appended to every year, similar to what I just said on the um, uh, the Bruce Butt Award. Uh, this one keeps getting added to each year. Uh, this started many years ago. This was kind of the first um, of the master's specific awards that we created um, back in the day. Uh, this is about a decade ago, I think. Uh, I, I just came to the conclusion we didn't have enough awards and it's a lot of fun giving out awards. So I went into the workshop and I built this award um, using some wood that I had. <laughs> and I tried to make it as big and gaudy as I could. Um, what's interesting is that you'll see on the picture there, uh, the platform that's that's here uh that was the whole height of the award initially and it had this little glass thing on the top that held a, a candle so the idea was you put a candle in there you lit it and it was kind of the eternal flame for the masters so it was kind of a joke and then somewhere along the line as people added to it this extra candlestick got added so it made it even bigger and now whoever wins the award each year uh, has to pack this thing around <laughs> And stick it somewhere um, and you can see a few other things have been attached over the years uh, to make it even more gaudy um, and uh, so previous winners included mark and ted and rob and and the 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 spirit of the masters is uh, push yourself have a good time uh, in terms of uh, the sporting aspect of it but we're also very much a social group uh, obviously this pandemic has a big impact on that and that's a drag um, but what we try to do is recognize somebody who sort of aspires to foster that environment of fun and sport and uh, continuous involvement in uh, both of those over, over the years. So uh, all of these guys have make, made contributions to this, um, and it's not just been given to guys too, but the, the award has been given to people who kind of foster that, that sense of things. And uh, this year, it's not a guy. It's Hillis. Uh, Hillis is... Uh, um, a longtime member of the, the Pacers Masters. She's represented uh, the Pacers not only well uh, locally, but internationally. She's gone off to the MISTA uh, Speed Skating Championships in Australia, uh, where Canada's uh, Masters uh, raced down there. Uh, this last year, she was over in, uh, where was it, Austria, I think it was, um, and uh, skated there. So internationally and at home, but um, more than that, she's just a great person and uh, good laughs and 
um, likes to really promote the Pacers and everything we do with the Masters. So uh, congrats to Hillis. Rookie of the Year. So uh, this is a, a relatively new award, um, and uh, it's something we we use to promote um, people who just joined the club. I mentioned earlier that we gave the most improved award to um, uh, to Claire, uh, and she's a rookie. We had a number of rookies join us this year, and all of them had really outstanding years. We had a fantastic uh, season. And um, at any rate, uh, last year we gave this award to Janet, who had uh, joined us. She wasn't with us this past year, unfortunately, but uh, the year that she was with us, she made great improvements. And um, what we'd like to do is recognize Michael uh, for his uh, achievements this year. Michael joined us at the beginning of the season um, in 2019, 2020, and uh, just made a consistent effort all through the year to uh, improve on his skills, ended up um, uh, staying with us through the whole year and uh, bought some new equipment and uh, was regularly seeking input on, uh, was always pushing himself in terms of speed and uh, it was just good fun playing around on the ice with him. Uh, he he joined us both on Tuesday and Thursday nights and, and really did a great job. So congrats to Michael. Uh, then we also have the Grossman, and the Grossman is named after Ron Grossman. Um, again, in the spirit of, hey, we don't have enough trophies and we'd like to give these things out because it's fun. Um, a few years back, um, I put together a, a new trophy. Uh, you can see it's a, it's using some glass work that I got at a local antique shop. And again, a little bit more fun in the woodworking shop. And um, beyond the fun with the actual trophy, the award was intended to recognize people who had made um, significant contributions to the masters from a volunteer perspective. And this could be in any capacity. It could be a, a formal capacity, like say a coach or an official uh, or somebody who's involved in uh, volunteering on the board or with um, uh, meets or anything of that nature. Um, or it could be uh, less formal, somebody who's just generally there to help out. And so um, this award has been given in the past, of course, to Ron, who uh, has been with the club for many, many years. Uh, he's a great colleague on the ice as a coach. He and I work really great together and have done so for years and uh, really has made uh, lots of contributions to not only the master's program, but to other programs with kids and so forth. Um, and then 2018, we gave it to Gail. Uh, Gail, as many will recognize, uh, was um, not only a member of the Pacers uh, from a, a skating and coaching perspective, but spent years on the board and uh, including a, a stint as president uh, that she did for a number of years in a really great way. So really great contributions across the club from Gail. Um, Ray got it last year and Ray has been invaluable with us on the coaching team, um, both in a, a formal coaching, helping people out kind of mode, but also in a just a just tips and tricks and getting buckets and uh, helping with safety equipment and everything. So. Um, really, that's, again, the spirit of the award, and, and Ray won it last year. And this year, we want to recognize uh, Stephen Anderson. So Stephen, as everybody knows, is uh, is not only involved with the Masters, but is involved in the, the junior programs as well, and huge contributor to the club, uh, both in terms of his coaching ability, his skating mentorship, and his um, uh, comedic uh, efforts. Maybe that's the best way to say it at the... Uh, annual conference or annual uh, banquet at the end of the year. So he's been the, the host of that for the last few years and everybody will recognize his uh, feeble attempt at dad jokes and uh, Maple Leaf uh, or the Maple Leafs uh, promotion for hockey as he comes from the uh, the greater Toronto area. So um, Stephen's off to law school this coming year and won't be with the Pacers. Um, but really that's not why we recognized him. We kind of wanted to make sure we did this before he left because that's uh, that's important. But Really, it's the fact that he's been such a big contributor to the program. Um, the way we've kind of divided it up in the past with uh, with coaching is I was handling Tuesday nights for Masters and he was handling Thursday nights. And uh, he was regularly seen as not only a great guy, but also a bit of a taskmaster on uh, Thursday, really driving the team and helping those folks who wanted to get a real workout and high performance work um, on uh, Thursdays, whereas Tuesdays we often have uh, trial programs running and so forth, and maybe it's a bit uh, more difficult to get in such a big workout. So really kudos to Stephen for such a great job at the Pacers, and a particular thank you from me for all the collaboration and uh, and work together on the Masters program. And uh, 
uh, other awards, just to highlight some of these other achievements by people in the uh, in the master's programs over the years. Um, uh, recently, we've we've um, we as an organization uh, recognized uh, Phil for his um, his work in trying to replace Rocky, somebody who really can't be replaced anyhow. Um, but Phil's efforts as uh, as the main guy in the Rocky room. Um, uh, Phil was part of the master's program for a number of years, and and uh, great to see him be recognized in that way. Uh, and Mark Hinton, uh, Mark's been involved in the program for a long time. He's another one of those uh, recipients of some of the other awards, as you saw, but he's also been uh, hugely inspirational on the uh, uh, long track front as well as on the short track. He's uh, similar to uh, Hillis has traveled to Europe last year to represent masters on the world stage and uh, just a great guy around the club. He's been masters rep for many, many years and um, just really helps out. Great guy to have around and have fun with. Um, all right, so um, just wanted to highlight those. And that's the uh, end of the award. So we appreciate that time and I uh, hope everybody has uh, a good return to sport this fall and hope everybody's safe in the meantime. Thanks again.